Hey everyone, so today we're going to talk about another one of our Nays models, one of the sport models, since it's almost time for outdoor activities, water activities, all that sort of fun spring summery stuff. Assuming we can actually get out and do anything by then, right? <laughs> At least out on the water it's easy to maintain six feet distance, right? So, back to the sunglasses. So, today, apparently, I had not talked about these yet, so we're going to do that video today. This is the Model 1709. Now, this is one of my personal favorites and is actually one of the top-selling models, at least that I use. So, what you've got here, very similar to the Ice 1811, we'll link up above here with another card to that video. This is the medium size, it's more of a round frame, it's not that elongated aviator shape that we've all seen before. The 1709 gives you this really nice, very central, balanced, round shape. Very classic, very timeless, very easy to wear, of course, pretty comfortable, decent bridge fits, nylon frame, so really lightweight. Even with those mineral lenses, it doesn't get overly heavy anywhere. Still maintains a decent balance, doesn't fall off well. For me, it fits really good and wraps all the way around nicely with those side shields in place. The great thing, in my opinion, about these ice models is that they're kind of a convertible model. They're the sports car of the sunglass world in a lot of different ways. What we talked about in the other on the ice 1811, of course, you've still got these Monel Core adjustable temples on the back so you can get that fit perfect whether you like it behind the head or down behind the ear so that's not going to go anywhere that nice rubberized cover helps give it a little bit more grip too with the spring hinges you can get a pretty decent clamping force before it starts to slide forward because they do have just a little bit of give before they start to really put a lot of tension on them which is a nice way to do it in my opinion of course if you saw the other video you know how i feel about the spring hinges in these it's really a nice touch as far as spring hinges go they are built to last and especially being internal design where it's not really replaceable or rebuildable or repairable that's a good thing now as far as this being a convertible model I have another one sitting here handy to show off the difference there. You can see those side shields are totally removable, so you can drop that down when you don't want that full side protection. Get something a little bit more stylish, a little bit more sporty without that full protection around and some consider it a goofy look with the side shields on. I'm not one of them because I like sunglasses that wrap all the way around. That's me. I like the traditional sport wrap as much as I do these with the side shields on. And this is actually, so you can remove those side shields and drop those down, but one thing I like on these in particular is you can also remove that center bridge. Now, depending on the color, it varies a little bit. So some it makes it a more solid look. This one is a contrasting color, but then you have really a totally different frame in this matte crystal. So you go from that really sporty bold with the red, white, and blue colorway to just this very nice neutral frame with that nice blue mirror, of course, and that matte crystal finish. Now, of course, you can't feel the finish on these, so I'll tell you, it's a very nice soft matte, has a really good tactile touch to it. There's just a little bit of grip. It's not really super slippery, but it does give it that very nice soft sheen. I wouldn't quite call it a satin, but it's definitely not a gloss by any means. They call it matte crystal. I'm not entirely sure it's fully matted, but yeah, there you go. Now, what I like about these, of course, it is that nylon frame base with the spring hinges and the nice grippy temple, but again, because it is a lightweight and a nice medium size that fits across a lot of different faces, but just because you've got that nylon chassis with the glass lenses. You're not gonna have to worry durability-wise about these. Again, as I mentioned in the 1811 video, it's not a glacier, so it is not a steel chassis with an acetate frame. You get something much lighter weight, but still meant to hold up in an adventuring, sporting scenario. So it's going to last for most uses. Uh, someone always proves me wrong when I say these things, so I'm not going to call it bulletproof or anything crazy like that. But it is a very substantial, well-built frame at a very light, weight point which is kind of hard to find you know without getting into something really cheap where you just don't care about it or you don't have good lenses 
that's about as good as it gets. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have got so many things to build out on the website. As far as these in particular, if you're interested in those, I do have a new e-commerce site I'm building. I'll link down below to these exact models. We have all the 1709s. These I keep in stock all the time, and that is one thing you have to watch out for. So, and anything else you guys would like to see in particular, let me know. I'll definitely get around to that. I know this is normally the technical day, but my brain's a little shot. I got a lot going on. So, back to the website. You guys take care in the meantime, and I will catch you next time.